Hey guys, so it is Krista and I'm just back with another video. My intro is going to be super short and super simple because I really want to go ahead and just jump right into it. But today's video is about organizing my life and how I am planning for the upcoming semester. So I plan a couple of different ways so I use a Google Calendar and I use my physical planner you guys know I talked about this booked and busy planner in my nursing school supply hall that I will leave linked below um, but I am not able to be as detailed in this planner as I would like because it is a physical planner and space is limited obviously even as big as it is space is still limited but what I do is I just plan very in a very detailed way in my google calendar i plan my youtube videos out which you'll see i plan my school you know i take anything that's in my syllabus and i trans uh translate it to the google calendar i plan all of my appointments so any appointments that i have coming up my work shifts that is all in the google calendar along with the times that those appointments are the times my work shifts are um, the days that they're due or any assignment is due things like that. So I'm very detailed in that um, When I go through my Google Calendar, but in my planner I don't really include times unless it's a work shift, but I do color coordinate it to match my Google Calendar so in my planner and on my Google Calendar all of my YouTube events um, or videos are always light purple my personal appointments my personal um things events such as self-care um things or if i have planned to go out with my friend or any anything those are always going to be in pink um my school school related events and tasks those are always in navy work always in green and any just regular reminder those are always in blue light blue so without any more putting off that didn't really come out right but anyway without putting off this video anymore we are going to go ahead and jump right into it okay guys so here you are able to see three different colors on the calendar by the way i have a two calendars merged together in google i have my youtube uh, calendar so the one that's connected to my youtube email and then i have the calendar that is connected to my school email and that's going to have all of my work shifts school assignments and my personal appointments on that calendar so you see three different colors you see a light purple a darker purple which is actually navy blue it just looks dark purple on the dark background and you see green the light purple I use for all of my YouTube videos, the green I use for my work shifts, and the dark purple or the navy I use for my school assignments. Now here you can see that I am specific when I put down a YouTube video. I know exactly which video I'm uploading when. Now some of these obviously have already been uploaded so they'll look familiar, but I'm just doing this for the purpose of demonstration. Then you'll see that I have all of my work shifts listed out. I only get my schedule a week in advance. I can only list out so many shifts, but I put the exact time so that I'm not having to flip between my calendar and my work app. Now you see that I am going into my school assignments and I just have the days and times that I've, I've set aside to actually focus on different things that I need to have done before the first day of class. Take note that on the school assignments, if you look in the description, I'm very specific about what I will be focusing on. So I'm not just putting common lab values. I'm putting which exact systems I'm going to be studying, which ones I'm going to be reviewing. Okay guys, so in Google, you have the option between switching between a view of the month, a view of the week, and a view of the day. So here you see me looking at all of my assignments and tasks um, for a specific week. And this gives you more of a realistic view of what you actually have to do. The month really only shows you just things you need to do. And of course, it'll have a time by it, but you can actually see a, exactly how much time um, it will take out of the day when you look at it in either the week view or the daily view. 
All right, so here, let's look at the week of December 18th. So you can see the video that I am scheduled to upload that week. And then you'll see also on the 18th, I have a review pl a session planned, a shift for work. And then you'll see the rest of the things that I have to do for the week as I scroll through my weekly tasks. Okay, so something that I wanted to show you guys is if you click on the menu button and if you're ever overwhelmed or if, you, if you're looking for something specific, you can select and deselect every category that you create to show only those things. So as you can see, I'm kind of clicking and unclicking different categories. And then here, I'm just going to unclick my school schedule so all of my assignments go away and then I'm going to select it back and they pop back up. All right, so I know I may have taken you guys way too fast in the first part of the video, but that was really just to explain what was going on. Here, I'm actually going to show you how to build your calendar, how to have it color coordinated, how to have it very specific so that you are as organized as possible going into the new semester. Okay, so as you can see, I am looking at a week view of the month of January, specifically the week of January 15th. So you can see I already have things for Monday the 16th, which is just some review assignments that I'm going to be doing. And now I'm going to add in an event. So I'm going to click the plus sign in the left side of the screen. And I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to select what the task I am doing. So of uh, the category for it. So I'm, it's a school category. So I'm going to select school. And then I'm just titling it whatever it is. So all we're doing on the first day of class is the first day orientation. And I'm looking at my syllabus, of course, guys. So I put the time that it starts. And then on our syllabus, we got a little lucky and they did give us a tentative um, end time. So I'm just adding that in there as well. In the description, you want to add anything that may be relevant. So I'm just basically giving a description of what I'm doing. So it's my nursing one orientation, but you can put things like a class number or what building it is on campus, something that'll help you so that you're not constantly flipping between different apps, trying to find things in your phone. You can always just pull up your calendar and have all of the information there in that one app. So as you can see, I had that on Sunday, which is fine. All it takes is for you to click the box or click whatever event and you're going to drag it to the correct day. So I just dragged it to Tuesday, which is when that orientation is. Now you see me adding in another event. This is also a school event. I'm going in, adding the time, and then I'm going into the category and adding school and saving. It's very simple, guys. Very, very simple. Okay, so here I am adding another event. This is going to be a little different because this is an assignment that is due. So I have multiple assignments that are due the first day of class. So you'll kind of see me kind of go back and forth with the title. But I ended up just settling on just naming it assignments due. And then I'm going to go into the description box and I'm going to list out exactly what is due. Remember, I'm changing that category to school because this is my schoolwork. But something that's really interesting that I really, really liked after I saw it, um, how it showed up in my calendar is um, the color of it. So as you can see, all of my school assignments are, of course, navy blue, but I wanted due dates to stand out to me. So what I did was I went in and I changed the color of that particular assignment or event to red and it still shows a navy border, but the rest of it shows up red basically to kind of yell at me. And that's kind of how I prefer to do it. As you can see, I went in and I took out the time or I'm sorry, I changed the time to like 8 a.m. because that's when my class starts. But then I went in and edited it. And I took out the time completely and I moved it to an all day event and it just stays at the top of my calendar for that day, no matter how far I scroll. So I really like that.
Alrighty, so the next thing that we're going to add is going to be on Wednesday the 18th. So we have a hygiene class or a hand washing class that we have to attend. So I'm going in and I'm just titling whatever it is. And then I'm going to list out the time just like the other events. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to change the category from organizations to school because it is school related. So to edit something, you'll click it and then you click on the pencil and then you'll go in and you will edit whatever you need to edit. So here I'm just correcting um, the title and then I'm just going to click save and that's it. Okay, so clearly this week all you are seeing are school assignments, but when I get my work shifts for the week, I'll just go in and I'll add them just the same way I did here. And I would just go in in the category and I would put work. If I have a personal appointment, so this week I actually do have, or this particular week I actually do have some um, cosmetic appointments. So I would just go in, title them what they are. So my lash appointment, my hair appointment, make sure I fill out the correct time, and then I'll just put personal. And each category will have a different color. So if you click the menu button, you can actually click on those categories and change the colors to whatever you want. So my personal is pink, my YouTube is light purple, my school is navy, my work is green, and my organizations are going to be purple so organizations those are just going to be any student organizations that i may choose to join um but yeah so that's how you would do that the concept is still the same you'll just change the category and when you change the category like i said the color will change